retaking the Senate for Republicans. They're like, how dare you say that? Well, of course it will. They're giving them driver's license everywhere. I'll never forget an AP article like seven years ago. The headline was something like, bank heads make it easier for immigrants to get houses. And they said, well, we know you don't really have IDs, so we're going to give you mortgages and stuff without any proof. Meanwhile, folks, I've got near-perfect credit, and to get a house, I have to almost get a proctology exam. That's what, you know, my dad had a little company, a little holding company, that he gave me 18 years ago when I started up, 17 years ago when I started my online shopping cart, when I had my first film, America's Run by Design, to try to fund my operation. He helped me set up the computer and set up the online deal and, you know, helped me out. And he said, here, you can have this bank account. It's got like $1,000 in it. I haven't used it in years. It's a Bank of America bank account. <clears throat> and so I went and put money in that, started using that. And, um, you know, since I've gotten rid of it, obviously. But I went in there to do something with it years ago. I think it was deposit or open another account or something. And I had like three forms of ID. It wasn't enough. I had to get interrogated. It was all, and I was watching illegals. I mean, I know an illegal cowboy hat, dirty cowboy boots. It looks like a East Texan, but they're Mexican. It looks like a West Texan. It looks like a Texan. And they're sitting there and they're sitting there cashing a check, no ID. And I'm like, excuse me, he didn't show an ID. And they went, sir, we have policies. And we, I don't, look, being a citizen and playing by the rules means you're a schmuck in this country, ladies and gentlemen. You got insurance, you're going to wait an hour. You're an illegal, you go to the front of the line because they've been told, bring them in, bring them in, bring them in. We're going to be reimbursed by the government. But with an insurance, now you're going to pay a lot more when you got insurance. They're going to rape you. Absolutely rape you. Uh, continuing here with the ongoing uh, news blitz, Representative uh, Paul Ryan looking at legalizing all. Oh, that's why he's been the darling of the Republicans and tried to take over the Tea Party. He tried to take it over, he failed. So that's just some of the news uh, on that front. U.S. official North Korea nuclear reactor restarted. Iran can now build and deliver nukes. U.S. Intel reports, Times of Israel, they had nukes six years ago. <laughs> I just want to tell you that. And so did Saudi Arabia. And you notice that's now coming out. Uh, experts, China boosts space warfare capabilities. But don't worry, uh, the NSA is spying on the Tea Party. They'll keep us safe. Uh, Holder, new media guidelines in weeks. Claims they're going to talk about their new guidelines for harassing media. That's in Politico. And again, remember MSNBC ridiculing uh, Mick Romney's family uh, adopting a black baby and saying, you know, it doesn't belong there and all that because they're total race pimps. Well, now they've had to apologize for controversial tweet about conservatives and Cheerios, saying conservatives will be mad about a Cheerios ad showing a multiracial family. Uh, I mean, no, it's the Ku Klux Klan Democratic Party that was. So you learn to pose as liberals so you can abort all the blacks and Mexicans while giving them Gardasil shots. And the blacks and Mexicans on average love you, so it's working. Fine, fine, kill them. I mean, I don't want to kill them. I don't want that on my, on my soul. I, I want them to be free and own guns and own factories and build and go to space. But that's not going to happen. We're all just going to kill each other. I understand. I understand how it works. I understand I'm bad. I get it. I know. I understand. I'm informed. I'm a bad person. Let's go to some other news before I go to break and come back with your calls. This is at Infowars.com by Don Salazar. TSA Super Bowl fans may encounter Viper teams. <clears throat> Roving armed TSA while they wave the uh, known Al-Qaeda groups uh, and Muslim Brotherhood certified terror groups through the TSA. Don't worry, though. Uh, you may get fingers literally in your body. Roving teams that will come up with guns and grope you and your wife and search everything. Uh, isn't that just great? You can read all the details uh, right here. And they're also warning of political activism. They don't want anybody grabbing the, you know, the spotlight away from an event, even if you're outside of it, uh, you know, while they're teaching you that Gardasil shots are good and that GMO is good and that families are bad and Obama's good and taking your guns is good and then being groped is good. I mean, you're not going to get in the way of America's pastime being slaves and paying thousands of dollars for the cheapest tickets. And yes, I, I did buy tickets for some of the crew so we can cover it properly. But I mean, that's just unbelievable, like 1500 bucks or something a piece. This country's completely gone. The guy runs into his burning house for his Xbox. People won't run into their house for their burning kids. That's about right.
And you wonder why we're becoming slaves? Because they know we're chumps. They know we're done. All right, we're going to take your calls, and I got a bunch of even more important news straight ahead about our government funding Al Qaeda. Stay with us. You've heard about Numana, true American pioneers in healthy, GMO free storable foods. Great tasting meals with no MSG, soy, or chemical preservatives. No high fructose corn syrup or aspartame, and gluten free options. Plus, superior 25 year shelf life and good enough to eat now. But have you heard this? Numana is so confident in our quality and taste, we'll give you $50 just to try it out. Call 888 597 0775 or use coupon code RADIO at checkout. GMOFreeFoodStorage.com. Numana, food storage you'll love to eat. Is the Second Amendment your line in the sand? Is the United States Constitution important to you? Are you worried about gun confiscation? You need to join us for free at gunconfiscation.com. At gunconfiscation.com, you will meet like-minded patriots, get the latest Second Amendment news, and find anything you need to prepare for gun confiscation. Visit gunconfiscation.com today. That's gunconfiscation.com. Which side are you on? In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through January 31st. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. announced they're going for the death penalty of the clear CIA patsy. They already tried to kill once, who's pled not guilty. Death penalty decision approaches in marathon bombing case. The answer to whether or not officials will call for the capital punishment of uh, the surviving puppet 
uh, is uh, due out tomorrow. But the word I just saw up on Fox is they are going to go for it. We'll see if that's accurate. Uh, let's go to your phone calls. Uh, Carmen in Pennsylvania, you want to talk about the North American Union that we're well into. Go ahead. Hi, how are you today, Alex? I'm all right. Thanks for calling. Good. I just want to touch some um, issues that you've been talking about during the day, not only the North American Union. Um, I am an immigrant, and I am a citizen, and I just want to let you know, don't get discouraged. There is a lot of Hispanics and other immigrants that are trying to fight for our country and that are trying to do the right thing and are waking up, and we're organizing. We're trying to reach to our council mans. We're trying to reach to our representatives. We're, we're trying to... Oh, no, listen, I know, I know, because, I mean, not just American citizens that are Hispanic, but I run into immigrants, you name it, huge amount of listeners here in Austin uh, in fact, I'd say the majority of people that come up to me, they're listeners and really care what's going on, are Hispanic folks. The problem is the Democratic Party gets them immediately and begins the socialist indoctrination in the schools. So that's my only point is the whole power structure wants unlimited immigration to the country. What do you think about that? I agree with what you're saying, and we're trying to intervene. We're trying to wake people up. We're trying to unionize. We're trying to organize. It is very hard, however, and, I, and it's one of the issues that I want to bring up and ask you suggestions because, for example, where I'm here in Pennsylvania, white locations, whenever they try to see you, they're trying to um, have this prejudice and this preconceived ideas, and they think that you cannot be hand-in-hand -hand with them trying to fight for our country. So when you find these organizations and you're trying to um, enroll with them and trying to um, be active and advocate and be a political activist, they, they put certain roadblocks for you not to join them just because you're from another race or just because they have this prejudice just because we're immigrants. So what would you suggest we can do in terms of that so we can fight? Sure, for sure. I mean, it's very simple. Just because there's people that don't like immigrants because they're immigrants. I mean, over in England, you hear a lot of talk about all the Slavs that are moving in. Um, I mean, what, who do you expect to come in and, and, and replace the fact that Brits don't have kids anymore? So I don't dislike Hispanics. I don't dislike Slavs, anybody. It's what's going on in their brains. So you've got to say, hey, that's a minority of white people that don't like Hispanics. And I know that for a fact. I don't care if you're white, Hispanic, who you are. We can't have unlimited if they put them on welfare. The country is going bankrupt. And they are voting overwhelmingly democratically, and we will lose our guns. So regardless, there's racist on both sides. That's not the issue. The issue is the power structure that's bad wants the open borders, and we cannot have that. God bless you. Good to hear that you're listening to the broadcast. Uh, let's talk to um, Kevin in Canada. Then we'll go to Atemo, I think is the name, and Laureen and Morgan. Go ahead. You're on the air. Alex, let me give you a little bit of uh, Canadian passion. Ten tours. Ten tours and you have people there standing and clapping. They should have been sitting in their seats, looking at each other awkwardly, speechless. I almost see the American society totally degenerating to the point right. where... No military in history has made a soldier fight ten years. That, that, that is the most abusive evil. World War II, it was one, maybe two of you re-upped. Audie Murphy tried to re-up and they said no. I mean, unbelievable that they would have people serve 10 tours. That, that, is, that is so abusive. Go ahead. In the 1900s, your population was about 76 million. That is now your welfare class. You, your forefathers fought for a republic, and you folks have squandered it to a holographic democracy. And, and what really sort of struggled me these days is that I've been watching you for about 15 years, all the way back to Waco. And the amount of information that you've provided me with has literally given me like a $10,000 education at minimum. But the problem I have is that I'm not the only person hearing this, yet nothing's changing. It's literally getting worse. Well, that's because we're in a war. The enemy's pushing, we're pushing. Stuff is changing, it's just not fast enough. But briefly, how would you describe how, how evil it is to say it's great to have somebody serve 10 tours? I think the, the simplest way to put it, Alex, is you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. By the way, they call it a volunteer military. When you sign up, they have these automatic re-ups and things, and, and it's actually not true. 
uh, he probably did volunteer, but that is just crazy. That is crazy. We're on the march.